Hey everyone, so how can you create this kind of shape? And this is a very good surface modeling practice. So here we see we don't have any issues. So let's create together the shape. And if you want to improve your 3D skills even more, I have a series of high quality plasticity courses for beginners and intermediate users. And these step-by-step -step courses cover everything you need to know about surface modeling, product design, and the most effective and efficient techniques. You will quickly build confidence and save time with the clear structured learning path. So you can find all of my courses in the first link in the description box and now let's dive in into our today's tutorial. Alright, so first of all link in the description here and uh, check out the full project and then you have more reference images but for this tutorial we will just take this one and load it here into a program called uh, Pure Ref. So it stays as always on top. So first of all we want to go to the top viewer and we want to create a circle and just drag here on the x-axis and we want to do it with the rectangle as well. So snap to the middle and drag that out here in 45 degree and just press C. So you're going in all the uh, directions with the same distance. And yeah, let's uh, do something like that. So we have here a little bit of a distance. And now we want to bring this circle to the top. So select the circle, press G and just bring it up to the top. So we have here a little distance, maybe even a little bit more. And now just let's close this hole because we want to work with edges in a second. You will see why. So to close or to fill this area here, we just want to patch it. So press F and search for patch. I have it on shift three. So it's super fast to use shift three patch. Okay. And delete the curve. So we have this face. And the same with this rectangle, select the curve and don't patch it, but this one we want to extrude. So press E for extrude and drag this a little bit downwards, doesn't matter how much. And delete the curve. Why? Because now you see we have here some uh, space and room to work with. And obviously we want a nice G2 corner, so select in edge mode all of those edges. and give them a nice fillet and just click here G2, go to the top view and just adjust a little bit the shape so it looks fine. So yeah, something like that. And now, so you can't just um, loft that or something. So you can loft it, but you can't get really that shape here. So what we want to do is we just want to work with one quarter. So again, go to the top, you create a line and just snap to the y axis, snap to the middle point and here to the x axis. So you have kind of 90 degrees. And now you can press C and cut into the surface. Press here, tap object mode and delete this Pac-Man here and select the curve again. Go again to the top view, press C or you don't, you don't need top view and just select that sheet here below and the same press tap select this three quarter sheet and delete it and delete the curve. So we are now left with this piece. And what we will do now is because we will again mirror that over in a second, right? So we will create here a curve and here a curve. And then we will just patch all of this um, like hole, right? So there you see, but we can't just patch it. You will see in a second why we will have to add three curves. So one curve here, one curve here. So you can even add even more. But here in this tutorial, we will just add three curves because this center curve will direct our shape a little bit. So um, yeah, let me show what I mean. So first of all, create a line and just snap here to the end point and to the end point and go here to the front view where you see from the side and shift S and shift S again, or one shift S is enough and just drag this point somewhere here. So this will be our shape. So kind of as we have here, right? So something like that should be fine. And now we want the exact same curve here on that side. So little trick. So we don't have to create a new curve. We can just take this, select this curve, go to the top view, shift D to duplicate and R for rotate 
And now pivot is here in the middle, but we want this pivot here. So we can then just pivot this to this position. So select R and now here you have this freestyle command. So press F and just snap once to the middle. And you see you have now a gray line and snap again to your curve. And now you, you see now you can just um, yeah, rotate that curve around that middle. So you just want to snap it here on the Y axis, right click and you see you have the same curve. curve. Uh, just zoom in, press one and just make sure that everything is connected. So that looks fine. And now we have a closed hole kind of, right? So you could maybe patch it, but the problem is, um, so here from the side, you see we have a nice rounding shape, but here in the middle, so from this degree, it's a little bit too, uh, too steep to the top, right? So what we want to do is we want just create one more curve. So we have a little bit more control over the patch and uh, how it will behave here in the middle. So just face mode, press three, select this face. And now the um, command search for, also press F, search for isoparam. I have it on control R. Again, below this video, I have a PDF explaining the basics of surface modeling and all of my shortcuts and all general shortcuts. But um, yeah, so you have everything handy, but control R isoparam here around the middle and the same here, selected face, control R and just search for the mid edge uh, snap and that's fine. And now we just want to create here a curve so you can basically create a line and go from endpoint to endpoint. And now we have to do the same shift S to subdivide the curve because now we can take this point and let's just go to any view and just play a little bit around. But now obviously we have to go to the top view and let's make it straight. So just adjust the curve. And you see now we just have this nice um, yeah, rounding in the middle, which is uh, flat here at the beginning. So that means if we now in two edge modes, select all of those edges and curves and patch them again. So search for patch. I have it on shift three. And now you can add this curve, shift click. And now you see our shape here. If you rotate the camera around is always straight because remember if you would not patch it, you see it's, it's not exactly where we want it. So just press shift. Okay. Delete all of those curves, select face mode, select the top and shift click the side because this was just for, um, yeah, creating the shape. So shift X. So we are left with only our surface here. Object mode, select the surface and alt X and bring to the other side, select them both alt X again and bring them to the other side and now select them all press J. So they are joined. And I did this by purpose because <laughs> I do this. So, I mean, I explained that in literally every video, but just if someone still don't know why we get now this ugly edges here, it's because so now go a few steps back before you patch it. So before you are here, you know, again, we have here where we will mirror that over. We have those curves, right? But if we just patch them and use the curve, we don't have any tangent C information, right? Because here you see it again. If we patch it, we can't adjust here G1, G0 and stuff. So again, in the PDF below this video, in my free surface modeling course, I explained that with all of my tutorials also. So what you just have to do is take this curve and E and extrude this and delete this curve because now we have the edge. And the same here, select the curve, press E, extrude this a little bit and delete the curve. And now you see we have the hole which is surrounded by edges. And now if we do the same, if we patch it, so patch it, I have it on shift three. Now you see this time we can give it here G1, bam. And now you see it's instantly making that uh, tangent. So we have some smoothness. So here G1 as well. And don't forget, to add uh, this curve with shift click. 
And you see now everything looks fine. Okay. Delete the curve in the middle and again press three. And in face mode and with clicking and shift click shift X, delete everything except our face here and press tab, select that face and alt X bring to the other side, alt X again, bring to the other side. And now if you join that, and if you hide those edges, now you see in zebra mode, we have a very nice smooth connection. So let's just uh, finish up here, the top and the bottom. And at the bottom, we will do something really cool. So to add here also a rounding at the bottom, you want to select a control point curve and snap here to one of the middle and just go to the yeah, back view or something. So you see it. And now just go down and one more time. And now one like that. So maybe you can increase a little bit the distance of the point. So again, you can play around as you like, but something like that. And now what we just want to do is so we don't have to build anything. We can just sweep it. So for that, you have to press two edge mode and alt click. So you select the loop of that edge and now shift D to duplicate. So now we have the curve extra because now we can take this curve. You can sweep it and you can select this curve and it doesn't work and somehow it doesn't work but when it's not working you can just try i don't know why exactly it happened but just delete this curve and just go to another side so just try to create the curve here so again control point curve snap to the middle go to the view where you see it and drag it down and create a few points and just adjust them a little bit and now again select the curve and sweep and now you see it it works so that's cool and let's delete those curves and now just press four for object mode select those sheets and press j and press two again for object mode alt click to the bottom and again just patch it so you close this hole and here at the top we will do something interesting so we will not just close it because then yeah it's just flat but here you see it's not really flat we have here kind of a little rounding in the inside so alt click edge mode this edge here at the top and shift d and go to the top view and s and s and scale this a little bit so yeah, i don't know something like that and now go to the front view activate so you see the edges and uh, shift z so um, and select this curve so again from the front view and with g bring this a little bit down something like that and now again we want to create one curve because now we have again a circle at the top so it stays always the sh uh, same shape so we just want to create one curve so select the line or curve and go from this point to this point and now go to the front view. And if you don't see those curves uh, here, toggle X-ray mode and now again select this curve and shift S again to subdivide it and just select this point and with G and control click to this point. So we have here nice tangency and we have a nice rounding and maybe you can take this point and uh, play a little bit with the position. And now again, select this curve and sweep it around that circle. And you see, we have beautifully uh, yeah, sweeped this curve and we've created this nice surface. Select the curve, delete it, delete the circle. And again, alt click in edge mode and patch it because now we can patch it. And again, press ob tap for object mode, select everything and join. So you have one solid and select this face in face mode, shift D to duplicate it. And again, select edge mode. So you see the edges and you can see through, bring this a little bit up and now select the right click, select that face and just extrude this. Or oh, you can't just extrude this because then you offset. So you have to select the face and press E instead. E always very simple for extrude and just give it here a little bit of thickness like we have here. And now let's just bring this whole thing a little bit here to the top and 
S for scale, but just scaled it here on the X and Y axis. So you're just scaling this um, yeah, on the X, Y direction, right? Because otherwise, if you would press S, then it would be also thicker, but we don't want that. So we have something like that, right? And now again, you can add here uh, fillets and you see everything works very beautifully because we work clean. And this is our nice product design here. And if you found this tutorial helpful and you want to continue to build your skills, I've created a series of courses that guide you step by step through mastering plasticity. So check out the first link in the description box to find the best fit for your 3D modeling journey. And I wish you a nice day. Bye.